Bunch of Bartlett here, and today I am going to show you High Level's new webinar builder that is available right now inside of your High Level accounts. So you can see there's an on demand option and then there's a live webinar option. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through both of these and I'm going to show you how you can actually use them and get them set up. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a webinar because typically we create a, a live webinar and then we turn that into an on demand webinar. Okay, so the first thing we'd want to do is create the live webinar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just so that you know, it's in the sites tab under webinars. All you got to do is click new webinar and then we're going to choose live webinar. Okay. Um, then we're going to click uh, continue. Now we want to give our webinar a name. So I'm just going to say live test. And then we're going to choose our time zone. That's obviously important because we want to make sure that we are choosing the appropriate when we say, you know, the 31st at whatever time. Uh, we want to make sure that it is definitely in the correct time zone. So I'm just going to choose two o'clock here. Click OK and we'll confirm. So now we've set our webinar date and time for the 31st at 2 p.m. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then now we want to choose the form. This is going to be the form that they're registering for our webinar on. If you don't have a form already, you can go um, again in Sites. You'll want to go into the form section and just create a standard form. Just going to choose this one here. And then we're going to click next. Here is where you want to put your webinar link. So this is going to be, remember, the live webinar link. So if you're sending them to like a Vimeo or a YouTube video, or you can even create an event here in Zoom. So we could just quickly schedule a Zoom event. So we'll just say test live. And we would choose our day and time that we're going to be live. So we said 2 p.m. And let's say it's going to be one hour and all of this is great. So we'll go ahead and click save. And then now we have our Zoom link. OK, so when I take that Zoom link, we're going to go back here. And side note, you do not need to have the webinar um, the, the webinar plan of Zoom, you just need a standard Zoom link, okay? So we're gonna just add the Zoom link there and then click Next. And then we wanna choose the template that we wanna use. Let's just say this one here and then Create. So now you'll see it's creating the actual funnel for us, okay? So what's gonna happen is they're gonna register for our webinar. So if we open up this page here, you can see what it looks like. It's already pre-built for you. So we have the form that we chose. Okay. It's already embedded into our website. And then you can see here, we have this pre-built page that of course we could come back and customize any way that we wish. Okay. You would just want to simply click here. You can choose to open in a new tab and then you have all the same functionality that you do in any of the, the builders um, to change all the colors or anything like that, that you wanted to um, change. Okay. So just letting it load here. So you can see that you have all of those editing options. Okay. Now, uh, of course, when they register for the webinar, they're going to go to the web webinar um, page here where it's confirming the registration. And then you'll have the page that has the broadcast. Okay. Now this is just going to be an image that is um, that has the day and time that your webinar is being hosted. And it's going to stay that image until the time counts down and then it is going to redirect to the Zoom link or the Vimeo um, page or whatever. If you did want to have a standalone uh, page that it's going to direct to, you would just simply want to add uh, another page or you would have your, you know, a, basically a page that you embed the webinar on and then you would direct it to that instead of the Zoom link, okay? So this is how you would create the live webinar. So let's talk about the automations for a live webinar. If we go into the automation tab and you go to the create a workflow, let me check your comments here. Just make sure everybody can hear me. Okay, cool, cool. Hello, Sam and Martina and Frankie. Thank you for joining. Okay, so go back here now to the automation. So let's go ahead. Oops, I wanted to show you. I typically just guess that was muscle memory. I start from scratch on all my automations. But this time I wanted to show you that you can actually select a recipe. And if you scroll down here, you do have the webinar registration. So if we click select here, 
um, you see all of the options. Okay, so it's going to add a registrar tag. You're going to choose the start date of your webinar. You have the confirmation email. It's going to wait 24 hours before. Um, and then, of course, you want to you want to edit these things. But it's super cool that the format is already built for you. You just need to customize it so that they're getting all of the emails right before the webinar starts. Okay, so that's how you want to create a live webinar. All right. So let's go back to sites now and let's talk about a pre-recorded webinar. Okay. So we've done our live webinar. Now we want to set it up so that it's an on-demand webinar so they can watch it whenever they register. Okay. Now the first thing is we need to go to the media storage and we need to upload that video of the webinar. Okay. Now I just have a, a video here that I uploaded just to use as an example. Once you upload it to your media storage, then we can build that into a funnel. So I'm going to go back to sites now. I'm going to go to webinars. And this time we're going to create a pre-recorded or on-demand webinar. So I'm going to click there, go continue. And we're going to say um, on-demand. And then let's say test. Next, now we want to choose the registration form. Remember that's going to build the uh, webinar funnel and it's going to put the form in there that we chose. So I'm going to choose form. And just side note, when you create these forms, you could actually build out any automation based on the submission of this form. Okay, that would be the trigger in the automation. I just want to show you these webinar specific workflows so that you know, you know, basically the things that you have um, that are possible to do. So I'm going to just choose this form here and we're going to click next. And then here is where we want to choose the actual webinar video. So I'm going to click here to open up my media gallery and you'll see that I have this video here. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click it. And now it has selected that video for me. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Here I want to choose the template that I'm, I'm going to use to get started. I'm just going to choose this one again. I thought that one was pretty cool. Go ahead and click create. And it's going to create this webinar funnel for us. Okay. So now it's created the same basic pages here. So we have the webinar registration. So this is where they're going to opt in to um, view the funnel. We have the webinar confirmation page. So you can see these are very similar. The only difference is that on this one, instead of uh, that countdown timer, we actually have the video embedded into a page, okay? Because it's on demand. So when they register, they're gonna instantly get access to that video. OK, so that's how the on demand works. Now, typically with the on demand webinar, you definitely want the ability to trigger automations based on the view of the video. So when I show you, if we go back to automations now and we go to create a new workflow, I'm just going to start from scratch here. You can see that, uh, of course, like I said, we could start the trigger with the form. OK, so we could have two different workflows just say the form is remember it was form 13, I think. Um, so that could be the trigger here. And then we could wait a certain amount of time. Um, we could also make the trigger video views or video tracking. So if and again, these could be two separate workflows. I just want you to know what's possible. Um, we could choose the video is any of. Um, or video percentage equals to, and then let's say if they watch 50% of the video in this funnel, let's choose, um, I think I chose on-demand test. So anytime in the funnel that we just built for the pre-recorded webinar, the on-demand webinar, anytime they view a video, any video, 50% of the time, it's going to trigger this automation. Now I could go to video, any of, and then choose that specific video. I think I need to refresh here. Um, but you could choose that specific video on that, uh, in that webinar, if you had multiple, but really there's only one video anyway. So we can say if they view in this funnel, uh, any video that's equal to, or we would probably want to do um, equal to, uh, 
greater than or equal to 50%, then we want to trigger this automation because then we know that these are really hot leads because they did sit around and watch at least 50% of the video. So from that point, uh, depending on the information that we collected on the form, we could um, send them a text message. We could create a manual phone call for our team to create. We could create a manual phone call for ourselves. We could send a ringless voicemail. Uh, we could send a Facebook message if they've messaged us first there. So many things that you can do now based off of the tracking uh, that we have available for both the form submission and the video tracking here, okay? So I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the webinar funnel builder. I know that in the future, we will have the ability to host your webinars. So you wouldn't necessarily need Zoom or Vimeo or any of those uh, webinar, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Platforms, I guess. Uh, but honestly, you know, I am a big advocate of using YouTube because you do get that traffic. But if you're doing like a paid webinar or something that's very exclusive, um, you may want it to be a private hosted webinar. Okay. So you do have all of those options there. If you are not a member of our program, you can go to myvisionagency.com. You can see here the option to join our reseller program. If you just want to use all of our tools and save a bunch of money, you could use the tools only. And we do have a free community that you can check out as well. But in the reseller program, um, I am going to show you how to earn passive reoccurring income as a software reseller. This program is for high level users. So if you are interested in signing up for high level or you're a current high level member, this is the program for you. We're going to give you white label licenses to our AI ads manager that is powered by play. You can white label with your own brand and sell um, for whatever you want and you keep 100% of the profit. You will get our done for you system, unbranded support for you and your clients directly through play. Um, like I said, you'll be able to rebrand, resell, and keep 100% of the profit. We are going to give you some additional software that you can use for your business, like our social autopilot that's powered by Brand Blast, our vision content AI that is powered by FormWise. And then of course, you get my coaching five days a week. Um, you can join us in the Zoom meetings on Friday as well. If you are a new high-level member, meaning you're just signing up for high-level or you want to upgrade to the SaaS plan, you will receive a free starter plan in our agency. You just want to click here and then choose whether you're creating an account or upgrading. If you do not want to upgrade or you're already on the SaaS plan, you can choose one of our MBA plans here, and then you'll join directly into our program. Okay. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me here. Or what's really cool is now we have the AI receptionist. So if you want to call and test her out, or you want to leave me a message, you can go to 1-317-548-0272. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. And I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Go make your vision a reality. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us for today's training. If you have any questions, you can join us for open office hours starting right now at bridgebartlett.com. It's free and open to everyone. So